Welcome to Kootenahora. And you're watching Fantastic Four. Hey guys, this morning we are in Prague and we are at the train station, um, but instead of staying in town, we're heading out of town. Yeah, we're going to Kutnahora and we're going to go check out an ossuary church, which is uh, called Sedlak and it is built out of bones, so yeah. Well, the structure of the church is, it's decorated in bones, like 40,000 bones are there. People. And yeah, 40,000 people. <laughs> More bones than that, hopefully. Or I don't know, not hopefully. It's a weird thing we're doing. <laughs> so, I don't know, come along. Go see some bones in a church. We're interested, so maybe you are too. We made it from Prague out to Kutna Ora, and Autumn has been telling me on our walk to the church all these great facts about the uh, Sedlak Ossuary. So I'm like, well, don't tell me, tell them. So um, there are over, I think it's 40,000 people buried at the Ossuary, or not buried, I guess they're on display at the Ossuary. And um, it started when. Um, a long, long time ago, like hundreds and hundreds of years ago, like somebody 1300s, from... Like 1300s, right? I think so. Like, a really, really long time ago. We'll put so, the date down here. Um, uh, somebody who worked at the church went to where Jesus was crucified at Golgotha and brought back a jar of dirt, and he sprinkled it on the church's grounds. So then everybody was like, well, hey, I want to be buried in, you know, the dirt that Jesus was crucified in. And so um, people were asking to be buried there. And then um, the plague happened across Europe, and so many people died, um, you know, that it started to get crowded, and they um, decided to put the bones on display. And they were first arranged by a blind monk. Um, and, you know, as you can imagine, a blind monk, you know, might not have the best artistical vision for it, and so they had them rearranged 300 years later in 1870 um, by a local woodworker. Um, who rearranged them in their current form as they are today. So, Ooh. Someone did their homework. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. That's a little preface and we're coming up on the church. So we'll show you what we can see. Very strange. Like how strange? Tim Burton, Danny Elfman strange? Yes. Yes, that's strange. What do you think of the Bone Church? Mm. <laughs> hey, so we just got out of the Bone Church, and what were your impressions? Um, it was very unique. Um, I don't know how else to put it. It was just so bizarre and strange. Just, why? <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree. It was really bizarre, and 
I think you were right. It's like if Tim Burton needs inspiration for his next movie, this is where he should come. So what do you think? I think that if Tim Burton needs any more ideas for his next movie, he should come here. And the fact that, I mean, it's one thing to sort of see the skulls and, you know, not remember that they're real, but then you remember that they're real and they died of the plague and... And they had this whole case of um, skulls to you that were warriors in a specific war, which I can't remember which war. Um, we'll probably put it at the bottom of the screen. But um, they died. You can, you can see how they died. Like on the skulls, there are huge holes in the skulls. There are like little punctures, you know, from arrows. And there, there was this one skull that was like totally decimated. Just like half of it was gone. Um, a nasty way to die, I'm sure. But yeah. Well, and they had some skulls arranged in, like they had a bird pecking at a skull. Made out of? Made out of a bird. Bones. The, the bird. Oh yeah, the made bird's made out of human bones. bones, right. So, anyway, that was the most interesting thing we have seen in quite, have we seen anything more interesting than I that? I think so. So it was worth the trip. We definitely. probably sacrificed a little bit of Prague for this, but we worth both it. think it's definitely worth it. Okay, so we are at, I have to read the name of the church to you, Cathedral of Assumption of Our Lady and St. John the Baptist. It may be one of the longest church names of a church that we've been to yet, but it is really different from any other church that we've visited. I read a lot of blogs online and several of them kind of poo-pooed this church, and I'm not sure why, because it's really bright and cheery and beautiful. But also there's some interesting things that we got to do here that we've not been able to do in other places. So for example, right now we're up in the choir area, I think is what they're calling it. And you climb up this spiral staircase and you can walk through the choir and you can look over at this beautiful refurbished um, organ. And then also you can walk through the attic area where you're kind of on top of you're just below the roof line, so you can look up and you can actually see the roof, and you can look down and see the cement, um, sort of arches, but you're above them. And then you can have this expansive view of the entire church from above. So we've not really been able to do that before, which is really cool. Something else that was interesting at this church, um, most sort of Catholic churches have relics, or like small chapels where they have relics that are um, just very precious to the people there. But here they actually have these, they're almost, I don't know if they're full body relics or what, but they, you can, they have the skull and ribs and leg bones and arm bones, and they're all sort of fixed as a garment in a glass case, almost as if they're in a coffin. We'll show you some footage of that as I'm talking because it's probably really difficult to picture. But anyway, that's the first time that I've actually seen relics displayed in that manner. So. Yeah, there's some really neat art here, some Baroque art. Um, so it's just been a really uh, an interesting, <laughs> I use that word all the time, but very interesting experience here at this cathedral. Oh, one other thing is that the, something else was interesting. There's, there was a, a, a terrible conflict here. I don't understand it. I haven't read about it, but it's the Hussite conflict or Hussite war. Anyway, we'll print that down at the bottom too, but um, they came here and they they murdered many monks who were at the, um, there was a monastery right here in this location. And in a niche in the wall, they have several skulls that were found during a restoration of the church. And also I thought that was kind of a, a, a nice way to memorialize the several of the monks who uh, died here. liked our video on Coop Nahora. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And we have a lot more videos coming your way, so don't forget to subscribe. And if you feel so inclined, please leave us a comment because we'd love to hear from you. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.